Hello, my name is Amit Garg with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video is about how to configure IP codec sets in the Communication Manager. I have logged in the set prompt of Communication Manager with release 6.0.1. Codecs are used for wipe links between any two wipe resources or endpoints. For example, IP telephone to IP telephone, IP telephone to media gateway or from media gateway to media gateway. Now use this command list IP codec set and press enter. In the output you can see that up to 7 codec set may be defined with 5 codec listed in order of preference in each set. The default codec is set for G711MU. The G711MU default settings can be changed to other codecs if G711MU does not meet your desired voice quality and bandwidth requirements. Now press F1 to cancel this command. Now use this command change IP codec set 2 to configure the codec set 2 in the system and press enter. In the output you can see that codec set 2 is the number assigned to this codec set. In the audio codec field you specify the audio codecs used for this codec set. As I explained, G711MU is the default setting, so depending upon your requirements, you can change these settings. A wire recommends at least two codecs for each telephone in order to avoid incompatible codecs. For example, G711 and G729B are used for most of the Avaya IP telephones. So change the default setting of codec set in the audio codec field. I am using codec G711 and G729B. Silence suppression is used to enable or disable the RTP level silence suppression on the audio stream and the default value for this field is N. Frames per packet. It specifies the number of frames per packet up to a packet size of 60 milliseconds. So enter a number such that the packet size does not exceed 120 milliseconds for G723 codecs and 60 milliseconds for all other codecs or blank. Packet size field showing the packet size in milliseconds. Now my second codec is G729B. Media encryption specifies a priority listing of the three possible options for the negotiation of the encryption. The selected option for an IP codec set applies to all the codecs defined in that set. This feature is available only if media encryption over IP is enabled for the system. The default value will be none. Go to the next page. Allow direct IP multimedia. This field will enable or disable the multimedia by using a codex like H261 and H263. The default value for allow IP multimedia is N. Fax mode. The default value for fax mode is relay. And the other valid entries for this mode are OFF, PASSTHROUGH, RELAY and T38 STANDARD. REDUNDANCY The default value for this field is 0 and you can enter number between 0 to 3. The default value for modem mode is OFF which means it will turn off the special modem handling when using this codec. In this case, the modem transmission is treated like an ordinary call TDD slash TTY mode. US is the default value for all the new installations and upgrades. The other valid entries for this mode are OFF, pass through, and UK. Clear channel enables or disables supporting this codec set for the BRI data calls. Now press F3 to submit. So when I click on submit button, I am getting a warning message that change may interrupt audio to IP endpoints until they are rebooted. So if you are ok with this change, then press F3, command successfully completed. Now use this command, display IP codec set 2 and press enter. In the output you can see that the audio codex G711A and G729B that we have entered for this codec set. So this is how we can configure IP codec sets in the communication manager. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your comments, questions and feedback at mentor at .com or on twitter at avaya mentor. For more details or related information, please visit 
support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.